this conference. We think that we engage the youth. It's a start. Um, we are looking at engaging again one youth at a time, and we hope that they are able to continue to be a part of our Extreme Teams program. An event like today where young people have the opportunity to talk face-to-face -to, -face to specialists in particular fields, that's going to be of interest to a lot of young people. That's why we have so many different kinds of vendors. You have the military here, you have the education system here, you have higher education here, you have nonprofit organizations, you have public safety here. There's a reason for that. In the southern area, we've created, it's called the Asset Builder. It's a comprehensive youth development curriculum. And it's an intentional set of activities that help individuals uh, develop skills through five developmental growth areas. And those five areas are learning, working, contributing, connecting, and thriving. Good afternoon. We have to start with one youth at a time by creating opportunities that, that allow various youth of different demographics to be able to, to have an opportunity to find a solution that works for them. Street team to promote all extreme teens events and that's a group of 10 to 15 teens ages 13 to 17 who they go out and they're talking to their friends and their peers about the extreme teens program so they use social media you know we're on Instagram Facebook Twitter YouTube we've found that you know peer-to-peer -peer is the best way to market teen programs you know the primary um, mode of communication for teens is texting as well as social media. So we decided to rely on our um, experts over at ITC and to develop a plan to integrate technology and not only to just say, oh, we're going to utilize technology, but also to engage them and capture information that will be important for us to use when we're programming. So again, if you've ever been bullied, you're going to text. Your answer, of course, your code is 22333. Yes, you have been 18994. No, you've never been bullied. 19068. To have the teens actually excited about texting, you know, smiling and giving their responses, I think it's a great thing. And we can use that as a tool to kind of, you know, capture them. And then once we capture them, okay, how can we take STEM to the next level? But the bottom line is that we want people to know about it. You want to be able to let the problem be known because we have way too many suicides, way too many students that are injuring themselves because they feel so they can't go to school. I mean, you should be able to go to school. A big part of working for the Park and Planning Commission is recreation, uh, interaction with young people, youth, seniors, the entire population in the community. So it's very important that we be at these events so people know that uh, we're here not only for their safety and security, but to be a part of the solution to some of the concerns they have related to safety in our community. Be afraid to go and talk to them. They are extremely personal. You can talk to them and they will answer any questions that you may have. We're going to engage youth by um, various activities. We're going to use what's called an out-of-school time landscape map, which allows us to take a certain youth in certain ages or various ages and work with them to develop various skills. Young people need the experiences and skills and supports that all of those entities offer to a community, whether that's Prince George's County, Howard County, Washington DC, or over on the West Coast. It doesn't matter. Young people have a set of basic needs that when I was talking about they really need to be exposed. That's what an opportunity like today brings for them and I think that when anybody, a young person or not, has connected with something that has interest to them, something that they're skilled in, something that they have a talent in, it opens up possibilities, it opens up the, do opens up the door to possibilities of what a future career can look like. It shows them that they can earn a living, enjoy life, get back to society and be a productive citizen. That's what, that's what being a thriving young person really means.
We want to keep them engaged. We want to continue to bring them in. We want to keep them informed about what we're doing here. We want recreation and leisure services to be a part of their lives. We love you. And love is what's going to help you become a better young man or a better young lady. And on that note, I'm going to close and say I thank you guys for coming.